Well, hello, hello. It's Rosemary from Orkney. Just wanting to update you, my whiskey friend, on the Lock Lee whiskies, which was my last video blog for you. Well, you might have spotted that I was really rather taken uh, with the Fallow edition, the Oloroso Sherry edition that I had. And I mentioned that in the town, in the Toon, as we say here in Orkney, I had seen another edition in Kirkness and Gorry, one of our very good local um, wine shops and delis. There are others, Bayleaf Delicatessen in Stromness, and of course the Brig Larder in Kirkwall. Well, I didn't want anyone else to have the Harvest Edition, so I popped in yesterday and bought it, and I thought I would just update you on what I found. So this is it. It's a very much lighter colour. Um, the Oloroso was a really deep, rich, um, tawny brown, whereas this is much lighter in colour. And the nose is so fragrant and fruity. Now this one and I'm talking about the Harvest Edition now from Lockley, the farm distillery, the grain to glass distillery on the farm in Ayrshire where Robert Burns was raised as a young man. Well, this edition, the Harvest Edition, is finished in three woods, which sometimes I would think is just too complicated. So uh, bourbon barrels, uh, then sherry casks, but it's not Oloroso. OK, it's probably Amontillado, which I don't think is the correct pronunciation, the Amontillado uh, barrels and or casks and then port as well. So kind of in my mind, I'm thinking that ooh, might be just a bit too much like Dolly mixtures and too floral. But I have to say it is really rather Delicious. There is that slight of um, sweetie shop aroma on the nose, but um, it's certainly giving. I've, I haven't poured this long, and that's actually because it's a Sunday lunchtime. It's a wild day here in Orkney, and we're going to console ourselves by eating lunch at lunchtime and then probably having a snooze. Anyway, too much information? Okay, there are other whiskey channels. But don't go. Please don't go. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> this is quite literally my first taste of this. And... <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot going on in that. It, it is complex, it's not challenging, it's very seductive, but oh my goodness. But the thing is, this is a non-age statement from one of the new generation of um, Scotch whiskey, Scotch malt whiskey distilleries. And as I told you last time, I was introduced to this very exciting distillery uh, by my friends at the Good Spirits Company in Glasgow. But wow we there are definitely candy notes in there. Um, but what's exciting for such a young distillery is that everything that's going on in my mouth is stitched together. This isn't something where it's um, banging about and saying, no, I want to be most assertive. I want to. This is a complete whiskey in itself, despite the complexity of it. And wow, hats off to them. Definitely on the sweet side, definitely on the sweet shop side. Um, but lovely spice at the end on the finish. Um, it's, it's kind of almost like um, Szechuan peppercorns that you have in Chinese cookery. Um, you know, it is fruity. The pepper is fruity. Everything about it is fruity. But that was my first sip ever. And I shared it with you. Slanger bar. Right, second sip. 
more whiskey flavors asserting themselves. So much more, um, much more from the bourbon uh, barrel coming through. But still this glorious fruit and sweetness dancing around in my mouth. Gosh, that's a real, a real whiskey to sit and unpack. And that is something as a whiskey woman with rather a lot of years of drinking whiskey under my belt. That is something that I really love to uh, do. Now, what is that? Is, is it sherbet or... Um, do you know, it's years since I've had a marshmallow. I, I suppose I've spoiled my thought process by looking at the box. They say marshmallows. Well, up here we have the fabulous Orkney marshmallows, which are a real um, farm product as well. Uh, an artisan product. Um, I didn't have a sweet, sweet tooth, so I, I can't tell you um, whether that's a marshmallowy flavour. I don't. I think it's it's almost like a shaving of Scottish tablet. So it is sweet, but it is dominated now by the whiskey and and the fruit from the port barrel, and it's just very exciting and if you uh if you're abroad and you're not in scotland if you ever see a loch lee buy it you're in for a treat i don't know how much they're producing i'm going to be watching them until i go in my box i think this is very exciting now i have got a drop of water and I am literally just going to do that. that. Now, the house is actually shaking a bit today because it is very windy. We've got weather warnings out. And uh, we live in a wooden house and it's an upside down house. So I'm in the kitchen, I'm upstairs. And uh, you probably can't see the levels in the bottles actually wobbling. But let me tell you, they are. So I'm kind of reluctant to add the water, but I want to see what happens because this is brilliantly crafted as it is. Does the water release anything more, stitch it together even more or dilute it? It's brought the whiskey notes out on the nose. And, you know, <clears throat> relax. Well, look, look what's happened. I've relaxed back into my chair, my Orkney chair. That drop of water has made it an easy whiskey. Not too easy because there's still an awful lot going on in my, on my palate from that uh, whiskey. I was a girl guide. You know what the motto is, be prepared. Mm. That's a wee drop of the Oloroso, of the Fallow edition. Ooh. Gosh, if you said to me I could only have one of these, Oh, I would be torn into. But nobody said that to me, and I have them both. For now, if you look up on the barrel, you'll see that the fallow edition is sadly going down. What more can I say? If you see Lockley, buy it, whatever it is. If these two are indicative of what they're doing. Wow, Scotch whiskey drinkers, we are in for a treat. See you next time. Cheers for now. Oh, that one's empty. Ah, and there's wine planned for lunchtime. I think it's going to be a Sunday afternoon snooze. See you. See you.